guys how you doing i know it's been a minute got some trap here coming to you from my house in east nashville tennessee man there's been a lot going on i'm sorry for not being around for uh, a minute um but looking forward to get back into uh, into it this winter and um uh, getting back and doing a bunch of youtube videos so that was a little tune uh no extra charge for mistakes that was called big mon i think uh um big mon B big monroe bill monroe wrote that i learned it on the mandolin a long time ago and then it makes a great little um guitar instrumental as well uh anyway that is an example of just playing some straight out of the you know g pentatonic g major scale uh little fiddle tune um and so trying to get my right hand back into shape with my flat picking um i play so much electric that i'm doing a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs where normally i'd be playing it straight with the flat pick which is uh for acoustic to play loud and clean and stuff like that your right hand really has to be dialed in so you know, good exercises for that. Just, you know, your major scales with uh, the, the up and down strokes, you know. And then you can do the, the, uh, the pattern that's like... Um, um, those are good exercises. your right hand a lot so this song um the the rhythm to that i'll show you that in a second the lead part to it is um pick up notes up to the uh the d note key of g so so the first part Also do that down here. Um, 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 let's see. Um, can do it like that, and then the B part, the B section. So open B string. Right to C. Right. Um, G, the B string, I mean the B note, again, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on that, but that's the, the song, and then the rhythm part to that would be um, the pickup notes.
that's the rhythm to that. So, um, you, uh, so the thing about this, this is that's great is when you're playing this these open chords. You know, you don't have to be holding down the whole G the whole time. You can be a lot of times. I'll play my G and just do one one finger on the uh, marking the chord always. That's where it gets nebulous is if you don't start marking the chord really well. So G, I might play it with two fingers and get that nice uh, five down there. No third though, no, because that gets kind of muddy and then that can be kind of weird. So just that nice one, five, one, five, and then one if you want to do the full chord. But I might just play it like this. Because that frees these other fingers up to do some cool little embellishments, right? So. Little walk down to the D. And then the five over seven back to the one. So. take my hand completely off the guitar for some of this and as long as I'm hitting that uh, low G to mark the, the chord and then the second part quick C and I might just not even play a big C chord you know rhythm of that uh the rhythm so you know play around with these open chords some of these little walk downs and walk ups and, and some of the bluegrass stuff could be a lot of fun down here uh another thing i wanted to sh share with you was um friend of the devil right so just a real easy walk down right so right down the major scale now when you add a little chord rhythm to that So my point of this whole thing is when you get to the D chord and it really, especially the bridge where it goes, well, oh, that's why I don't sing. But anyway, Sheriff's on my trail, C, back to the D, A minor. on that D chord and every time it goes to that D is nice because there's that's a real tension builder so that's where you can really utilize the uh, major scale with the flat seven that that dominant seven scale which is here's the arpeggio off the C shape uh, the major would be or the open position I mean arpeggio back to a little walk now so this is like getting these really cool chord relationships that are going to be common for the rest of your life in a lot of songs you know one to the five that tension the resolve um these little walk downs to A minor, up to D, right out of these really basic fundamentals of the chords, 
the arpeggios, the scales, and really mapping this stuff out. And the, above all, as I say all the time, your ear is the ultimate of all this stuff. So hearing these chord progressions and being able to uh, hear this stuff and kind of look out ahead of it, uh, if you have to think about it too much, it, it doesn't work. You got to be able to get out in front of these chord changes and really know the song too, right? Uh, so anyway, that's a good thing to do. Again, another uh, really common chord progression that I want um, to get into, and it works for all kinds of different stuff, is maybe on the next lesson we'll do a, um, a like A minor to E7. And I know I've gone through this a lot, but man, I'm still finding like these really cool, you know... Hotel California vibe, right? You know, um, really cool little things you can do. Even this. That's a real basic way of doing it, but that's um, uh, what I'm talking about, right? So A minor. And just hearing those voicings. Even that line right there. E7 to A minor. So these are going to be reoccurring um, and you can't just play the blues over that stuff. So it's, it gets a little bit where you're really having to use your ear and these um, nice fundamentals. Right? So uh, even this kind of stuff. stuff so um anyway i know uh i'm kind of going all over the places i usually do but uh, i wanted to get a video out to you i've had a cool man just a bunch of great stuff my mom's been in town for two weeks she left a couple of days ago I had a great hang with her I went and did a bunch of walks and saw all the fall colors took some nice drives out into leapers fork and all the horse farms and everything um really cool uh, part of nashville um had an interesting encounter we were walking around percy warner park and um Ran into Keith and Nicole out there and had a nice conversation with them. There's nobody out there and just a beautiful day. And then today is rainy here in Nashville, so um, good good opportunity to do a video. But uh, great hang with her. Billy came out went, um, Halloween night last Monday to the gig and introduced the band. I might put that video at the end of this so you can check that out. Just really cool. And um, uh, doing some brand ambassadorships, working with Brixton Hats. They sent me a bunch of nice stuff for the wintertime. Uh, some beanies and stuff. And then also with the great company out of Charleston, South Carolina called uh, um, Williams Knife Company. And they sent me a bunch of awesome knives and uh, hats and t-shirts and everything. So brand, brand ambassador for Williams Knives, just some cool lifestyle stuff. Um, guitar's great, but there's a lot of cool stuff out there in the world. So um, let's not overthink it. Let's have some fun with the guitar. Let's look at what we're doing. Let's play along to some records. Let's use the metronome, the drum machine. Let's try to stay in time. I mean, for me to play that little bluegrass tune is is very simple song, but challenging because I'm having to get my right hand back to where I'm playing um, the bluegrass style of flat picking, which is up and uh, down, up, down, up. Not a lot of uh, chicken picking or hammer-ons or pull-offs. It's it's straight picking. So that, that I'm trying to get back into that, which is challenging. But anyway, guys, this won't be a long video. Uh, it's probably 20 minutes. I always say that. But um, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Doing a thing with Marty Shorts here in a couple hours. He lives up the street, and so we're going to do a little uh, live stream today uh, at 3 o'clock Central Time if you're around for that. Uh, I think this video will be up in time. But anyway, thanks a bunch, you guys. Check out the links below. Um, been a lot of cool stuff going on. We started the East Nashville Guitar Club, which is going like gangbusters. Osnoy is coming to sit in with the trio uh, this coming Monday at the Underdog. Um, and so just it just keeps going and it's amazing and I'm lucky to have such a great network of, of uh, awesome uh, people like yourself that are supporting uh, all this stuff and love guitar and love music as much as y'all do. So uh, good people, good music, and if you get paid for it at the end, that's a bonus. So guys, thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing you down the road um, and uh, much more to come. All right. Thanks, y'all. Bye. So, uh... I th I thought I've already had a couple of approaches. I thought I'd get this over with. Guthrie said, wow, it's, it's your night out. It's your night out. Come on. And I said, 
Well, what exactly do you mean? And I, then I remembered, you know, when I go out on Halloween, dude, you look like that ZZ Top guy. <laughs> You're gonna win the contest. <laughs> And wouldn't you know, tonight, I forgot to wear my shades. <laughs> Do I get an honorary door prize? You didn't have to get that guitar for me. <laughs> Enjoy your evening. Guthrie Trap is going to play for you. All right. Thank you so much. Shit, I'm gonna fall off the cliff here. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna grab?